Beautiful. Awesome. Welcome everyone to the online healing art retreat. Today is day one. Um, I'm super grateful to be here and I am excited that you are here joining me. I love doing the online retreats. It's an opportunity for us to connect face to face, um, just to nurture our souls, right? That's a uh, the tagline is we are meeting today um, to, to create art together, but you know, most importantly is just to get you know in touch with um, nurturing our creative soul. It's so important um, for us to be here and do that, take the time to do that. So we're gonna just um, jump in. I'm gonna kind of give you an idea of what to expect. A lot of people kept uh, emailing me, asking me, how long is it is this lasting? So there is three days. Um, I, I highly encourage you to do day one, day two, and day three, because each one of them builds upon itself, right? And you're going to see how they go together by day three. Um, and there will be replays. So I will be sending out the replays in case you know you happen to miss. Uh, those will be sent out in an email to you. So there is an actual uh, replay page. So um, a part of being here, um, I, I love that you have your cameras on because I love seeing you. I love seeing your beautiful faces. And the, the, it's, it's a part of it is that you are diving in, right? It's not like just getting your toes wet when you just have like your camera off, but I really do want you to dive in, right? Dive into the art making, dive into sharing. We're gonna have an opportunity at the end um, to do that. And I love that I'm seeing a lot of new faces here, which is beautiful. Um, but if you've been here before, because I do these retreats um, a few times a year, but if you've done something before, um, you know, have that beginner's mind and saying, okay, how am I using these techniques? How am I using this um, in my life, right? Um, so these processes, these practices that I'm, that I'm teaching you is something that I've been um, using for years, right? Um, I recently wrote um, this book, The Art of Healing and Manifesting, um, which we are actually going to do three exercises from the book uh, in the next three days. So that's exciting too, is uh, to be able to uh, use the information, right? Um, so part of the art making, uh, it's not about making a pretty picture. All right. Uh, this is all about self-expression. So please let go of any kind of judgment that comes up, right? We are going to be sharing our artwork with each other. That's that part of um, being a part of that Facebook group. You're going to have an opportunity to post your art and we are going to acknowledge you. We are going to take the time to, to view you so that you can be seen and heard. And part of that process is actually really nurturing for your soul. Okay. Um, so there is a, um, you know, there's a, a, a purpose of, of doing that, all right? Um, for those of you, for art supplies, all you'll need is a journal. Um, if you don't have a journal, just some paper. I had one person um, write me and say, I don't have any art supplies with me, I can't join. No, all you have to do is maybe a pen or a pencil, but you know what, when you add color, I always feel like it brings it to life. So, you know, if you've got some colors, that's beautiful, but you know, just simple supplies, whatever resonates with you. For those of you who like to do collage, you know, do you. That's what this is about. All right, so I'm kind of curious. I want to ask another question. Since we're just getting started. What is it? What would you like to gain from this healing art retreat? You know, why did you? Why did you even join us? All right. So, go ahead and put that in the chat. I want to read um, what some of you have to to say. Is it because you want more creative flow? You want to get back into your art? Do you want to have a successful art business? Um, you want peace, you want happiness, um, you want to become a published author, you want to feel grounded, you want positive energy, better health. What is it? Just to play, someone says, curiosity. Um, I wanted a break between my clients. I hear you, do some self-care, right? Cool experience, expand what I want to do with the clients. Um, heal grief is um, self-care. Beautiful, um, self-growth. All right, we've got some awesome things here. Maybe you wanna do something. 
maybe you want to hear some, if we go ahead and mute, um, if you come in, that would be awesome, just so that we can have a, a clean, clean line. Awesome. Personal development, self-care, um, start my art business. Beautiful. I'm very excited for you all. So as what we're going to be looking at is, you know, listening to our soul, listening to what our, what that desire is, and then seeing how will that impact you um, personally, but also how will that have a ripple effect in the world? Because as you work on yourself, even if you're taking a break from your clients, right, that's going to have a ripple effect, right? As you're doing that self-care and nurturing your soul, it's going to have a ripple effect. So I want you to think about that. Like, what am I doing here? You know, taking that time is so important. How is that going to affect others? Because your energy is so, so important. So what we're going to be doing is I love giving away things. I love doing prizes with this because it helps people engage and then people get really excited about winning stuff. So today um, I'm going to be giving away a year membership to the Creative Soul Society. Okay. And this is, um, I, so I started this um, Facebook group, Creative Soul Online Retreats, totally free group a few years ago. And I started doing these retreats, but I really wanted to see everybody's beautiful face and make art with you. Okay. So we do, we meet on a, a monthly basis where we make art to, um, twice a month, and then we'll either throw in some, uh, either a guest speaker, or we'll do some sort of training of um, how to do things. So I'm just going to share my screen with you really quick so that you can, um, hold on one second, so that you can see what this is about. It's on my website. And here we go. Going to see the fun stuff that we do. This is the Creative Society membership. We meet, uh, like I mentioned, two times a month. We are doing the Crown Chakra um, this coming Sunday, um, which is actually one of the <laughs> exercises in the book. We are um, we're going to have a book club meetup in April. We're going to be doing another exercise from the book Treasure Mapping. So it's looking at your desires. It's all about manifesting and doing a visual about that how to create an email list. Um, a lot of business questions come up um, in that society meetup. And we have a guest speaker. One of our members is gonna be pre presenting about the theory of positive disintegration. So we have a lot of fun stuff um, coming up um, in the membership. We also have art reviews coming up in May because people who are making this art series wanna um, get more um, about their art. So just to um, let you know, that is the prize. So how do you win the prize? I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more little thing here. I'm gonna share my screen. At the end, we're gonna be posting your art in the Facebook group on this thread. So this is a little, it says day one prize. You have to show your art and post on three other members' um, artworks, right? So when you do that, then you have the opportunity to win a membership. So I'm curious, is there any Creative Soul Society members here? And if so, I know we have a lot of people here. Um, what is your experience um, in the group? Just so that people can kind of get a feel of it, of why would they want to win that prize? Um, <laughs> Sue says, prizes, yeah, yeah, prizes are fun. It, it really allows people to, um, you know, show up a little bit more, right? And I, I've been giving away books. Um, and also tomorrow, the prize is actually the Oracle deck. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and introduce um, myself. Uh, my name is Leo Guzman, for, for those of you who are new here, and I'm a board certified art therapist. I've been practicing for about 18 years and um, I'm an artist. So I've been an artist all my life. And, um, but there've been periods of time when I kind of stopped making art um, and then showed up again. So the past, I want to say about eight years, I've been, you know, um, showing up more with my art online and actually selling it and then actually showing up with my um, art therapy practice um, as well. And so now I've um, expanded, have that ripple effect, right? So as we do um, our own healing, um, the ripple effect has been um, supporting other creatives um, and sharing their light and their gifts and whatever it is that they want to, um, you know, show up and, and share with their world. 
So a part of this process, I'll just kind of give you a little story um, of how I came to doing what I'm doing now. Um, was you know in, in grad school, which I went to Florida State um, and graduated back in 2003. So it's been a long time. Um, I did a my thesis. I did some research on um, the effects of stress on the body and um, how our therapy can help you, can assist you in relieving that and that part of that healing process. And what I found out, this is back then, um, was that the divorce number one stressor, death. Um, is number two, and then a death of, you know, a loved one, and then also moving um, is actually uh, a really big one for people. And people are so hard on themselves when they move, and they don't realize why they're so stressed, but it's actually like one of the top stressors, right? So um, so as I did that, I did a whole um, pilot project um, and actually wrote a book about it, which I haven't published, but maybe that'll be my next one. But a part of that, I feel like they were missing something, right? When I look back at that, I was like, man, you know, there's other parts that um, I feel that when you're not listening to your soul, that could be one of the big stressors up there, top of the top three. And I say this because uh, I refer back, that back to the title of this group. It's like we're on this online healing art retreat and we're here to nurture our soul. And so what happens when you're not nurturing your soul? Um, there can be burnout, right? There could be, um, I call it the dark night of the soul. That's, that's what happened to me. And I'll kind of give you, um, I'll give you the, the story about that is when I was talking about, there was a time in my life where when I wasn't creating art and I was practicing art therapy, um, I was in, um, you know, I was, I was working, I had two small children, um, every, all my needs were taken care of, uh, we had a home, um, everything, we felt secure, all that kind of good stuff. But I was definitely feeling um, a lot of anxiety. Um, I always suffered from, from panic attacks and had a lot of anxiety and some bouts of depression. And I didn't know, um, I got myself in this hole and I didn't know how to get myself out of the hole, right? And I knew that I felt really suffocated. We lived in a really tiny house. Um, and I remember just waking up in the middle of the night, like at three o'clock in the morning and just going to the bathroom and just like journaling. Um, and it came to me and it was like, oh my goodness, I need to get some help because I need to get myself out of this hole, right? So for, for me, I, I, I decided to um, go to an art therapist because art is an opportunity for me. I like, to express myself, right? Like I like to, I like metaphors and symbolism and um, it's a way for me to get it out versus just talking. Um, so I went to an art therapist and, you know, one of the questions he asked me was, what does your soul want? I was like, what does my soul want? And so then I, I ended up doing this drawing. I wish I still had it. I probably have it somewhere <laughs> in all my stuff. It was a cool drawing. It was um, of a house and it had a, a studio, an art studio in it. And it had a big yard, a big pool, um, you know, space for my, my kids to run around. It had an extra bedroom. Um, and I, I, like, I made a list of all these desires, right? And then uh, I was shocked. I was kind of shocked. I was like, that's what my soul wants is a new house. Um, but it comes to find out that I just needed that space. I needed that art studio. I needed that, that breathing room so that I could create my art. It was like giving myself permission to want something because I felt so guilty that um, I was even asking for more, right? Because I had my health, I had my beautiful family, all these like magic stuff, but I didn't have what, you know, I wasn't nurturing my soul. So within that six months of, of like, you know, meeting with the, the therapist and um, we actually end up, cause we live in a tiny house. I can remember like buying toilet paper and like not even knowing where to put it in the bathroom because like everything came in such big rolls. And I was like, ah, so we ended up selling the house. And then the, literally the house that I had drawn manifested. And I was like, oh my God, there's like magic to this. When you can really like stop and listen and see how, um, you know, you know, what your soul wants of how it can show up and then have that ripple effect of that it um, that happiness and that love can um, affect other people right so it's so important to um, to take that time so that's what we're doing here today so besides even winning any kind of prize today I want to just know that the prize is really of you showing up 
and doing the art that we're about ready to do because I'm going to be asking you that same question, okay, of what it is um, that your soul really wants and how do you want to be showing up for it, okay? Um, and part of that benefits, there's so much benefits in making art, right? Like 45 minutes of art making, we're not going to make art for that long, but it, it does have, um, reduced, reduces your, your stress level, right? There's going to be um, a decrease in cortisol and things like that. So um, it's going to have a ripple effect on, on you, but also the people around you, which is really, really important. Okay. So what I like to do is make sure that we don't have any questions that I didn't miss before we jump in. Uh, Christina resonates with my story. We've been there. We've all gone. I feel like we all have either past traumas. We have dark nights of our souls. We've had tough times. I mean, it's, it's normal. We all go through, you know, different um, time periods where, you know, we might get help or we might just do it on our own, but we've been there, right? We've had a hard time. Uh, Rachel says she's been a part of the Creative Soul Society for a long time. Um, the meetups for me to connect with myself and other like-minded people would have met otherwise. Awesome. Thank you, Rachel. Beautiful. Okay. So what we're going to do is before we dive in into the art, just to let you know the, the art exercise that we're going to be doing for those of you who have the book um, is on, it's, it's, it has to do with the crown chakra and it's on page 15. And we're going to be doing the ideal self avatar. You're like, what is that? This is about envisioning yourself um, with your best life, right? You showing up um, as, as if everything that you've wanted, whatever that piece, whatever it is that create a flow that you're wanting, whether it's like more clients, running your workshops, um, selling your art, whatever it is that that's already happened and you are in that space. So just so that you know that an avatar in Sanskrit, because this is all about uh, the chakras and it's um, from the Hindu philosophy, is about the avatar, um, the, that word actually means it's a God who creates a world or universe. So you are your own God. You are a God, a goddess, and you create your own world. You get to materialize exactly what you want. And we do that through our imagination. We are co-creators with the universe, right? And so we are consciously, meaning we're making it aware um, of those desires and then bringing it into the world. So that's what this book is about. It's starting with that crown chakra and then that manifestation process is that each one of the chakras, um, we do our exercises related it. So that we're gonna start with that crown. Tomorrow, we're gonna to be doing something with the third eye. We're gonna be looking at our blocks, but today we're gonna to focus on what it is that we really want. And I do this exercise for myself often because my desires change often, but I need to honor that, right? I honor where I'm at. So before we jump in, what I'm gonna ask you to do is just place your hands on your heart just for a moment. So as you place your hands on your heart, it releases oxytocin, that love chemical. I can already feel it. Mm. Take a deep breath in. Hold. Then release. And we're going to do that again. We're going to take a deep breath in. Hold. Release. Okay. I want you to take a moment and I asked you, what is it that you wanted when you came here, when you signed up for the online healing art retreat? And I asked you this question, even when you joined that group, the creative oh, learning industry so. group, and just go ahead and imagine yourself. Imagine yourself having your desires. It's your best year and you are in that flow. You are feeling wonderful. You're feeling healthy. You are taking care of yourself. You have a self-care practice. You feel joy. You feel expansive. And you have that ripple effect onto others because everyone that you come in contact can feel your energy. And they can learn from you. And they love your presence. They are supporting you because you are supported in your desires. Whatever that you want, you can have it. And part of it is believing in yourself. 
showing up for yourself and diving in fully to see it happen. And you're doing that. And part of this process is seeing it. So go ahead and put yourself there. Just imagine, where are you? Put yourself in that situation, whatever that is for you. Are you in a studio? Are you in a classroom? Are you in line? Are you with your family? Are you by yourself? You're doing exactly what your heart's desire, what your soul desires. You're showing up for yourself. What does that feel like for you? Just imagine what that, that feels like. Let's just look at what you're wearing. Look at the things around you. Really capture that feeling. Is it joy? Is it freedom? Happiness? If any colors come up for you, just take note of that. Just hold that in, hold that in your heart, hold it in your mind. And then we're gonna take some time. We're gonna open our eyes. And we're gonna go ahead and do that drawing of what showed up for you today. It's gonna to change. Your desires change all the time, but just hold space for what came through. It might surprise you of your drawing of what comes up, um, or you might know exactly, you might be really clear about it, okay? So I'm gonna give you like 10, 15 minutes to, to work on this. You might not finish today and that's okay. And we're gonna take some time after that to share some of those desires, right? And so remember, there's no judgment. This is where we gotta let go of judgment of whether the picture's gonna be good or bad. This is about self-expression. So even if you did stick figures, that's totally fine too. But what's really important here is to put yourself in that picture. And I said that avatar, but the avatar is your creation um, and putting that feeling. So the feeling I highly recommend is picking a color to represent that feeling as you show up for your best self, showing up fully for that desire. With it. Lisa just showed up. That's okay. You are welcome uh, to be here. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give the directions again, um, just in case anybody missed it um, or didn't understand quite clearly. You're welcome to ask questions here too. So what we're doing, Lisa, is we're just taking a moment to look at what your soul desire is, okay? And, you know, our desires change all the time. And a lot of times we just don't give ourselves permission to really receive them and dive in deep with them to let them show up. So right now we're just giving ourselves permission 
to see what we really want, seeing what that, if we had our best year yet, what that would look like. What does that abundance look like? What does that um, love, right, look like? Oh, thank you, Erica. She said, I got to speak up a little bit more. So Lisa, what we're doing is we are going to be drawing out that best year yet for you. What does it look like? Is it you know, creating your art series? Is it selling more art? Um, or anything else that you desire? Maybe you want to go on a trip with your family. Um, I don't know, whatever it is for you. Just take the time to draw it out and add as much detail and color but also put yourself into it. And I've talked about an avatar. So this is your ideal self avatar of you showing up in that best year. I think someone has their hand raised, but I'm not sure who it is. You can unmute yourself if you have a question. It was just, it was Everly who had her hand up. Oh, okay. I don't know if she wants to ask the question. Everly, if you would like to ask the question, you're welcome to, you can either put it in the chat or you're welcome to unmute yourself. Okay, I'm unmuted. Um, so I'm not on Facebook. I haven't been on for a year and uh, I see nowhere in Zoom where I can leave comments. I keep pressing the screen and I don't see anywhere where it says you can leave comments. Um, if you press chat at the bottom, you can you can leave comment there, a message. Or on mine, there's, uh, it's on the top right hand corner, it says more and you click on them dots. And okay. Then it says chat, and you click oh. on that. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, so, no problem. So, um, because I'm not on Facebook, then I'm not eligible for your free giveaway, right? Because you said it was a Facebook thing. Yeah, Is that correct. You would be um, adding the like adding comments to the the people. I'm also doing, if you want to invite people, I sent an email out that said, um, you know, if you share this with a friend and let me know, share the email, that's another way you can win prizes. So I'm still doing that and people are still letting me know. I'm still giving away stuff on the back end. Um, so if you'd like to participate, um, I'm giving away the digital book um, of, this, of this book. So you're welcome to share this because even though they're not here right now, they can always watch the replay and come the next two days. So yeah, okay. please everybody share the love and that's All another right. you can win. All right, thank you. I'll unmute now. Okay. Great questions.
just reading some of the the chats on Facebook. Um, and Joyce had mentioned about feeling unorganized and chaotic and messy, and that's okay. Um, and she'd like to be more organized. So yeah, just thinking of what that would visually look like for you. Maybe it's about creating a structure and a plan. Um, maybe it's getting rid of clutter in your home um, because everything in life is interconnected, right? Whether it's our business, whether it is you know making art, our self care, um, it's really really important to look at the different areas in our life, right? Um, and include include that. Put as much details um, as possible. The more details, color, information, the more it's going to show up for you. Hey, I just wanted to check in with everyone. You all look like you're intensely working, which is beautiful. There's no need to rush. You might not finish this even within this hour, and that's okay. You want to give as much love and attention to your soul's calling and what it wants in this season of your life. Um, but if somebody does finish early, you're welcome to give me a thumbs up so I know where you're at in this process. So Victoria had a great question. I'm going to go ahead and discuss it as you guys are creating. Victoria says, if you are manifesting and visualizing your desired and dreams, what are the possible reason is not manifesting in your reality? Thank you. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Um, yeah, we're going to be talking specifically about blocks tomorrow. 
Okay, we're going to be doing more artwork about that tomorrow. But what I've learned through my own life um, is, and, and with my clients that I work with is if something is not showing up that you desire is because you need some healing work around it. Um, and I'll even relate it back to um, when I had that dark night of the soul, when I wasn't creating art and then, you know, I went and got support and I really, my soul was saying, Leah, you need to make art and you need to put it out there. Right. That's what my soul was saying. So I had got out of my studio space. I started creating art. I started amplifying it. I started posting it on Facebook and I was scared as, as all else. I remember the first time I even posted on Facebook, I went and ran underneath my covers, right? I was so scared. I knew I needed to show up. I knew I needed to work on my solar plexus chakra. I need to work on my self-confidence. Um, but as I started doing that work and showing up, um, you know, other factors came into play, such as my, my self-worth, like how much do I charge for my art, you know? Um, so I even hired a, uh, a coach. And what I found out with that coach, you know, I hired the coach saying, oh, I just want to make money. A lot of, a lot of, artists do that. They're like, okay, I have this art. Now I just want to sell it and make money. But the reality was, um, and I love the coaches that I've had um, in the time and, and over the years, because each one has taught me something else. But at that time, I remember it was that I needed to have a better relationship with money. Um, because, you know, I was dealing with a lot of like root chakra work, I needed to get grounded. Um, I was, um, I remember even thinking about like how much would I charge for my art therapy services or how much would I charge for a certain painting and people would ask me and I would feel anxious that was like my first response and when I realized that energetically I was pushing away money because I had so much anxiety around it and this roots back to like my childhood like I had to actually do some work um, healing work around that um, and once I was able to do that, the universe gifted me like right away. Like I sold my first thousand dollar painting when I was able to do the work. And that's what I talk about in this book too. I tell the story about that. Um, it's like, as you, you know, you show up and you, you do the work, the universe will gift you along the way. So I, I got really intimate with my finances. You know, I started doing money dates, um, and energetically I was able to, you know, love money learn how to love money and, and understand the stories that got me to the point where, where I was scared of money, right? Um, and so I, I released those and made a new story for myself, right? So this is a part of that process. And that's why even the book is called The Art of Healing and Manifesting. And I have a program called The Art of Healing and Manifesting because a lot of times when we want something, some certain desire, if there is a block, it's because it's, it might be unconscious that we are not aware of the stories that we are telling ourselves uh, that's stopping us. And that's where the healing needs to happen. And a lot of it comes up through the art. That's what I think the art is so powerful. Like you, you can be really surprised of what shows up for you. Um, and then, so we wanna be conscious creators. So the more that we become conscious of the stories and what we are telling ourselves, then that's when that shift happens. So I hope that answers your question, Victoria, we are going to go dive deeper into that tomorrow because we need to look at whatever the stories are um, and and make uh, an aware, right? Make like the, have that awareness so that we can make a shift. That's where the transformation happens. Oh, and Tatum says, thank you so much, Leah, for doing the work that you do and making these tools accessible for the public. Yes, I am honored to be able to do this work. Um, I just feel like that's part of my purpose is coming on here to share the gifts, to share the tools, um, create our, you know, programs and to create books and things like that, because I feel that we need this in the world. We need to show up for ourselves um, and listen to our own souls um, and, and do the work for ourselves. Carrie says she is with a toddler and using crayons. Yes, you can use crayons. Like I said, this is not about making a pretty picture. This is about self-expression. Um, Victoria says, how do you identify what needs healing? That block. Hope you can cover this tomorrow. I most definitely will. We will definitely discuss this, the deep, deep dive tomorrow, right? But we want to know where we're going first. So that's why we're doing. We're starting with what you want, right? And then we're going to look at what's going to be stopping you. Um, share more about the money dates. Yeah, my money date is that I sit with my finances every week 
I mean, I look at my bank account every day because I have money coming in, I have money going out, but once a week I'll sit with um, and making sure that my money's working for me and I'm, you know, planning for the future and um, identifying different like revenue streams and way that, um, you know, that I can be expansive, right? I never had that mindset when I was scared of money. I was just scared to look at the bank statement, open up the bills, right? Um, so I had to shift that and get really, as I said, intimate um, of sitting down of knowing what's coming in, what's going out, right? And then knowing like what you're worth too, as, as far as your services and um, your art. And home says she has many issues too. Yeah, we could go over that tomorrow. In, in the book, I have other exercises, but we're going to talk about blocks specifically tomorrow because that goes with the third eye chakra. I love the idea of being a conscious creator. I share that idea with clients all the time. I think it can be timing too. Yes, Amy, I, I agree. I think that everything happens in divine timing as well. So it's part of like being patient and trusting and surrendering to the process. And Jan says, this is a rudimentary drawing, but it will help visualize my dream. Yes, this is, let go of the judgment. It does not matter. Um, all right, so this is the fun time. This is where we're gonna be sharing. So I wanna know who is willing, even does it not matter what your, your drawing looks like? I said, this is all, we're very supportive in this group. Uh, we do not judge. But being able to share your desire is that throat chakra. That's part of manifesting. We're coming from, you know, co-creating because you have that desire because the universe wants you to have it. Imagining it, that's that throat chakra, I mean, that third eye chakra and then speaking about it, right? So taking it to the next level. Is there someone here that is open, brave, homes? I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a spotlight. You want to go ahead and share your drawing and tell us a little bit about it? Sure. So can you guys see that? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. So basically right now I'm feeling a little scattered and um, the dove is me flying. My heart is breaking open and I'm flying towards the peace and self-love and just calmness. Right now, I'm still towards the bottom and a little shut down, a little scattered, a little tight. So, and stressed. And um, yeah, so that's what I have. Beautiful. Thank you. Just take a deep breath into the heart, right? Because that is a one heart chakra drawing. Even the doves are symbols of that heart chakra. So, and peace is the feeling of that heart chakra. So healing the heart is so important for you. So you could like wear the color green. Um, you could carry green crystals or stones. Um, you know, okay. really looking at like healing um, the, the heart chakra and, and doing artwork about that because so self-love is where it starts because when yeah. you have that self-love, that self-acceptance, that's where you can open your heart to other people and be vulnerable and share the love. So but you got to start with yourself. First. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Leah. Thank you for sharing. I know it's, you know, it's hard to be brave, but you did a beautiful job. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. We got a few more people that are open to share. Let's see. Let's see. Is Julie, can you unmute yourself? There you are. Add spotlight. Hey, Julie. Hi. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, totally. So um, here's me. Um, I'm uh, I'm dressed in really bright colors because I always think about and admire like people who dress in bright colors, and then I end up just like wearing a gray T-shirt and black leggings, <laughs> and I'm not sure exactly what stops me from doing that, even though I I love that. Um, and then um, up here are um, things that are like on my someday pile, like, oh, I'll get around to doing it someday. Like someday I'm gonna write these songs that are in my head and do these paintings that are in my head. I have 
children's stories that are in my head that I haven't done. Um, and then the laptop is for some poetry that I'm gonna someday write. <laughs> and the tea is for when I switch from coffee to tea someday. So I put all my someday things on there because I've been saying someday for a long time. Beautiful. And, and now is the day, like now is the day that you're going to put it forward. And this is when I talked at the beginning about not just putting your toes in the water, it's about taking that deep dive and actually getting in the water, like feeling it. And I love your drawing because that it, you have that yellow, you're like, you're wearing the yellow, which is the solar plexus, right? So that solar plexus is all about standing in your confidence and standing in your purpose, right? That's what the, like the intention behind that solar plexus, that's the energy around it. So when you stand in your power, right? You'll be wearing those bright colors. Do you own any bright colors? I do, but I don't reach for them. I reach for the familiar. Right. <laughs> So it's about safe. getting uncomfortable, right? Just like how I mentioned, like the first time me posting on Facebook and I went and like hid under the covers. <laughs> it's like, you have to show up and do things that are uncomfortable, right? So it is about when you're stepping into this unknown of, you know, writing the books, making the paintings, doing the, the songs, it's going to feel awkward because you're going to be stretching yourself and it's good. It's good to be scared. It's good to be excited because as you stretch yourself, that's where, that's what's going to be putting into the new story of, and, and you're going to get comfortable with it. For instance, you're going to get comfortable with that and you're going to want to stretch even more. But if you don't give yourself a chance, imagine what that's going to look like, right? You're, you're going to look back and be like, oh, like it doesn't feel good. And you're going to feel stuffed up. Like it's going to feel, or a lot of clients where they just feel like they can't get the creative flow out because They've been stuffing it for so long, right? That it's just blocked. So it's about consciously making that choice of today, I'm going to wear yellow. And I hope tomorrow when you show up, you're wearing something yellow and bright. And <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and then diving in and stop putting it on the back burner and saying, how can I spend at least 15 minutes today doing one of those things? 15 minutes this is nurturing your soul, right? Beautiful. Yep. Thank you so Thank much you. for sharing. I love it. How exciting. Whew. Showing up for yourself. It is. It's hard work, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be definitely worth it. How about Erica Nazaro? Would you like to join us and, and share yours? There you are. Let me add a spotlight so everyone can see you. Oh, can you move your picture over just a little bit? Okay, perfect. Ooh, look yeah, at you. I I drew myself naked, so I'm not really wanting to show the whole thing. Um, but um, I recently had a tarot reading, and it was um, the Knight of Cups, and um, and I felt like I, I needed the Knight of Cups there. And I've been doing some tarot paintings too that have been helping me. Um, so it's about yeah, money comes in, which is it's happening already, but it, I would I would love more. And then the light around me, which is about putting it out but also receiving it and I didn't mean to but I I got wings somehow I thought it was a cape but it became wings <laughs> and the ocean is behind me <laughs> and, or I'm on the sand so beautiful it has uh, so much goddess energy in it as well yes thank you okay you got that <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh I love the goddess yeah I've been practicing my inner goddess as well so I can I definitely feel it it's it's very yeah. powerful Oh. Yep, she's there. So thank you um, for the positive, the positive um, notes on the chat. I appreciate it because I feel it's very vulnerable to put myself out there all, all naked like this. But exactly, uh, and that's what this is about—about about being vulnerable yeah. and and sharing yourself. Because when you're listening to your soul, it is it's putting yourself out there, being vulnerable and being seen. But yeah, when you do that. It's so nourishing, right? Yeah. To be yeah. seen, to be heard, right? And accept it. Yeah. And we'll accept you here. So I thank you for- yeah, Scary for and wonderful. Yep, all, all the above. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank, thank you, you so much for sharing. Awesome. Anyone else? Let me see in the chat. I know there's a lot of people that would like to share. Oh, there's a, lots of beautiful feedback. Um, let's see. 
Someone has asked, will you be offering your certificate at completion? I'm using this as CEUs for my LLC SW. No, I'm actually not. I do a certificate now for my program. So for people who are in my program um, and do the hours there, um, then I will offer a certificate. Um, let me see here. I'm wondering who else, one more person, would they like to share? It's so much fun to see. It was uh, Kim Pratt was being very keen. Okay, Kim, could you unmute yourself? And I don't know where you're at, but I know you were here somewhere. Hello. Hi, I don't see you quite yet. Shall I pin her? Yeah, if you could pin her, please. Oh, I'm not doing that. So my little drawing is hold on one more second oh there you are okay oh sorry about that that was just scrolling <laughs> i want to add the spotlight all right beautiful go ahead so my uh, my little drawing is of what i am manifesting which is everything in that painting except what's in yellow i already have i have the art studio I have the friends that want to come over and drink wine and make art. I have a beautiful backyard to do this in. What I don't have is that musician sitting on the chair in yellow. And that would be my, my going forward partner that is just an awesome human being. Um, is an artist himself, not necessarily in painting, but def he's definitely a musician. Um, and we are extremely compatible. And he has the time and the desire to nurture my quest as I will for him. So I know exactly what it looks like. I don't know what he looks like, but I know what the vision looks like. Beautiful. So you want to manifest a lover? Yes. Mm. Well, wow. I want to manifest a partner. Mm -hmm. um, well, lovers are great because then it gets a little hot and, and sassy, but partners are cool too. <laughs> <laughs> well, he would be everything. Okay. Well, okay. Thank you. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of work through a couple of different programs for the past couple of months to heal things in myself. And I don't know that I'm actually ready for him right now, right. but I'm already visualizing it. That's the first step, right? And you have and, so much green and, there. I love it. The heart so, mm -hmm. Yeah, my backyard is so green. Um, this person right here is my realtor and really good friend. Mm -hmm. Um, and she's the one that found this place for me because she knew I needed the art studio mm -hmm. in the backyard. So this was a casita that I could be renting out. That's my, uh, sign that ha currently hangs there and with my logo and, um, my business or my art studio is called Blackbird Creations. And it's after the Beatles song, Blackbird, mm -hmm. and specifically the line that says, you were always waiting for this moment to arrive. Beautiful. So it's it's been a, a long time coming, but this is what I want right here. It's happening. It's happening right now. And I love that you said, you know, you feel like it's getting closer. And then, and then it is because I can see all that green. I can see the healing and also continue drawing this picture of this lover, this partner, because, um, and writing down every little detail of that you want to experience what what what's the energy that you want to share together not just about him because him is that or whoever that is that person yeah. that partner but also um what you're going to be sharing together because that's what is is really empowered like powering and write it out in paragraph form so not like oh. you do the list you do the paragraph form um and that makes it even more powerful so that you can see this person show up yeah great thanks for letting me share Yes, I love that vision. I love how you're like, you're already doing this process, like the manifesting is already happening for you. You're seeing it in your life because it's pretty magical. Awesome. Thank you.
Okay, that was so fun. I love seeing everyone's artwork and I want to see everyone else's. So do not feel bad if you did not get to come up and share your art because I want to see it. So this is where I'm going to share my screen. I want you to see the post of where I'm going to put the sticker in the group. I um, please put it under this thread because what happens is if you just go ahead and post it wherever, I won't see it and then people won't be able to comment on it. So if you put everything under, oh, hold on one second, let me find it. If you put everything under this one thread, then you have a chance again to win the prize, but also everyone would be able to see it and it stays organized. And I like it to be organized so that I can see it and, and comment it as well. And I want to see your art. If not, it goes all over the group and then I can't find it. Okay, so this is the sticker. I'm gonna post this in just a few minutes. If you're not done with your drawing, that's okay. I'm gonna share who's gonna win the membership um, tomorrow at the end of the group. Um, like I said, but just make sure that you comment in other people's posts because that's what's nourishing for your soul to be seen, to be heard. Um, there is a replay page. Uh, Becca, if you wouldn't mind, uh, just post in the link here. If you were to happen to miss a day tomorrow or the next day, I just want to make sure that you have access to it. So we're going to put that here. I'm going to be sending an email out as well that's going to have uh, the replay page um, too. So just so that you know, um, please participate in the in the three sessions so that you can get the most out of this. Um, oh, I love this. Christina wrote to everyone, it's great to work on yourself. It's constant, but be open to allowing love in as you are. You are worthy now. Oh, what a beautiful heartfelt message. I love that. She gave that to Kim. Ah, so true. We are so worthy of all of our desires right now. Right now. Um, oh, someone's going to go listen to Blackbird now. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So how do we enter the giveaways? Comment on others' comments. What you're going to be doing is, um, and, and Becca, if you could put the Facebook group on there too for people who um, are not in it. Yeah, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna post your art. You have to post your art and then you go to other people's art and you comment at least on three people's images, okay? So we're gonna keep it in that one feed. I'm gonna post it up right now as soon as we jump out of here. And um, yeah, all you have to do is post on someone else's um, art. Talk, you know, just, just acknowledge them. You know, you can comment it. We're very supportive here. Um, like we do not judge. We, we want to see your desires happen and we want to celebrate you, okay? So this is what's fun about the group is that we can um, cheer each other on. All right, if any other questions come up, you're welcome to email me or put them up here. I'm going to wrap it up because it's been an hour. Uh, I'm sending you all so much love today and I can't wait to see um, what you created and also for tomorrow, same time, same place. Um, and uh, we're going to be working on those, the blocks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lots of love and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome.